Hi, foodie lovers. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to just show my current face and cheek Kalinske brush collection with the recent hype of Bobo bringing out some new amazing Kalinske brushes. I thought this was a good time to just go through my Kalinske brush collection with you guys, do some comparisons. Um, we'll start with Koyudo, and I do have a couple Chinese brands that I can compare their Kalinske with as well. And I hope you guys will find this helpful. So first we're gonna start off with this rad and brush here. So this is the um, powder brush from Cuido and Bobo. And the Radin Bunny is just beautiful on this brush. The moon shifts all sorts of different colors. It's just gorgeous. Pictures, videos, it's so hard to do it justice. A lot of the times the moon looks yellow, but look at that, it like shifts. And even the black handle has speckles of like sparkle in it too in the right lighting. You can see it here, it's so beautiful. So you can see here, this is the newer batch of Kalinske. This is what actually prompted me to want to film this video because there is a difference between the new Kalinske hair that's on the market currently to the old Kalinske hair. So I definitely want to take this opportunity to compare them with you guys in case you're curious. So we'll compare it with the old batch of the Kalinske hair. So this is also the powder brush. And as you can see, they look very different. Not only is the coloring different, but the texture is different. And this is something that Bobo noted as well. So she is aware of it. And obviously it's animal hair, so every batch is gonna be different. Or the chance of it being different is pretty high. It's understandable, they're animals, right? But I definitely wanted to show you guys the difference. So not only is the newer batch lighter in color, but you can really see at the base, the older batch, it's just a lot straighter and it does look finer. Now, softness wise, let's see. Even though the new batch has texture to it, it is still soft. I would say nearly as soft as the old batch. If I had to be very picky, the old batch might be just a tad silkier because it's not as textured. But I, I truly think that's the only reason why. And it's really not a massive difference. They're very, very, very similar in feel as far as softness goes. Now, what I do really like about the new batch is it does fluff out a lot more. So it's a lot more fluffy. And I actually really love fluffy powder brushes. So for me, what I really enjoy about this batch is that it's fluffy. Post wash, it just blooms a lot more than that older batch does. Now, this next brush I have shown on my channel before, and I now own a backup. That's how much I love it. So, this is the Kuyudo highlight brush that Bobo made with Yoshiki at Kuyudo. And this is my all time favorite highlight brush. And I have said that numerous times. <laughs> I just adore this brush. And this is, of course, in the new Kalinske batch hair. And, oh my gosh, just beautiful. So like this brush to me, it's just the perfect highlight brush. Like you lay that highlight down, go like this, it's blended in no time. It's just beautiful. She did an amazing job on the shape. It's like this beautiful almond shape. And you know, even though the hair has a curl, it does not affect the performance whatsoever. The performance is still amazing. 
just gorgeous. And I do remember somebody saying that they actually use this with under eye concealer. And I think I might actually try that, especially where I have two now, <laughs> where I could designate one for highlight and then one for concealer because the density is really nice. So you could definitely use it with concealer. And that's what's great about Kalinsky is of course you can use with cream and liquids. It's just a very durable bristle type. And that's what I love about it, especially eye brushes if you're really wanting to get high impact with your shimmers. It's just really great for that. And look at these rad in designs. Oh, they're just beautiful. Gorgeous. I'm just so happy that I was able to get a backup of this one because I just adore it. Right now it's currently sold out on Bobo's website, but I am sure that she will bring it back. Or I hope she brings it back for those who missed it and maybe want to pick it up in the future. So then we have the Cuyuto Original Cheek Brush. This brush, I felt so lucky to have gotten when Toshia had it on his website. Oh, look at that red and so gorgeous. But yeah, I... I remember seeing this on his website and I was like, is this a glitch? Like, is this real? <laughs> like, and it was. I don't know if like they came across this like random batch in the warehouse or what happened, but I am not complaining, especially having the old hair. Like, it's just so nice. Honestly, if you own this old hair, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, if you've never tried the old batch, you're going to be completely... Regardless, you're going to be completely happy with the new batch, but if you do own this, you're going to definitely feel a difference, cosmetic-wise. But the performance is not jeopardized whatsoever. They're still beautiful quality. Um, and then here is the... This is the one that prompted me to want to make this video, actually, is the new... Um, brush that Bobo just put out. It's the cheek slash foundation brush. And this is my first Cuyuto brush in this beautiful golden handle. And you can just see the way it shines. I can see why this is a favorite amongst many Fude collectors. It is just stunning. And honestly, this golden handle is just so much more beautiful in person than pictures and videos could ever do justice. Like even the Radin, there's so many colors in it. It's just beautiful. Honestly, the Radin on all of these brushes are bar none. And what's nice is they're all different. A friend and I could have the same brush, but the Radin's gonna be different. And that's what's so cool about it. But so anyway, here's this one. And on my Instagram, I did post pictures of it pre-wash, and this is now post-wash. So on my pre-wash pictures, you could actually see the hairs were very, very, very straight. So it's once you wash it is when the hairs do tend to curl a little bit. But again, it's very soft, beautiful quality. I was ecstatic to finally have a Cuyuto Kalinsky paddle brush. I never thought they'd do it. They're always all about those tapered flame shapes. So to have my favorite brush shape in the golden handle, I just thought was so special. Just gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I haven't used this one yet, but I am so excited to use it. Nice versatile shape and size. Okay, so now we're going to get into some Chinese Kalinsky. Um, the first one I really want to compare with the newest Cuyuto, the golden handle at the bottom, is this Kyo Langong Kalinsky cheek brush. And what prompted me to purchase this is it was on Luxury Lover's Instagram. She was the first to show this. I'm assuming it was a custom that somebody made at one point but it's just really nice. And what I love about QLG's Kalinsky is just look how fine, silky, straight these hairs are. Beautiful quality, very soft. And obviously with Chinese brushes, 
you're getting, well, not always, but with these brands that I'm going to show today, you're getting the same quality, but you're not having to pay that premium price. So if you're somebody who really wants to try Kalinske and venture into it, this is a great gateway, so to speak. Now, even the Chinese Kalinske brushes, they are not cheap by any means. Kalinske is a very sought after hair type. It's rare and the price, the premium price always, always shows that. But anyway, so I definitely wanted to show it next to the new Cuido one. So here they are side by side. I felt like this was the closest comparison I had in my personal collection. And yeah, they're just very similar. Obviously the Cuido is longer. I did not have time today to get measurements for you guys. So I apologize for that, but yeah, they're very similar. Even the ferrules look very similar in size. I think the QLG might be, yeah, the ferrule might be just a little smaller than the Cuido. But you can really see the coloring difference. They definitely have different coloring. The newer batch too um, is definitely more of a goldeny tone. That's another thing I, I don't remember if I mentioned, but the old batch, it's almost like a deeper, like auburny color, whereas the light, the newer one is a little bit lighter. So that is something to note there, but yeah, so I felt like this one down here was a great comparison to the newest one. Then I also have another Kyolangong Chinese brush. This is Angled's and Luxury Lover also showed this one on her Instagram as well. She was the first to showcase it. So I had actually purchased these two brushes because of her. And they're so cute. They're like the cutest little size. So they're really versatile. And this one would be is going to be great with blush. Great, great blush brush for sure. Contour if you like to contour and What's great about Kalinske, as you probably know by now, you can use with creams and liquids. So if you're a cream and liquid type girl, these are going to be great brushes for you. Yeah, you're going to pay that price, but definitely worth it for sure. I mean, you don't have to go crazy with Kalinske, but just having maybe one or two that you want to try out, I think it's worth it. And then we have this one here, another QLG. Kalinsky brush and this one was inspired by the Wayne Goss 12 brush. I actually customized this myself with QLG and then she made it available on her AliExpress shop which I thought was really cool and anybody who likes the Wayne Goss 12 brush this one is for you because it's just that perfect size. I love it. Oh, I just love her Kalinske. It's so good. And where the batches are always changing, you just like never know like when it's going to go away, you know? So of course I want to create FOMO, but her Kalinske is just really good. Very comparable to Cuyuto's in my opinion. And then the other QLG here I have is this one. And as you can see, she's well loved. She's got highlight on her now, but this one is like the tongue shaped one she has in her shop. And this one is very comparable with the Cuido and Bobo highlight brush. So as you can see, very similar in length. QLG is probably just a little bit taller, longer in length. But on the side, you can just see how much thicker the Bobo is, which is why I know it's going to be amazing with concealer because it's got great density to it. You can see the ferrule size difference. The Cuido and Bobo is just a lot thicker. So it's got a lot more hair packed in. But these are both great highlight brushes. Um, the QLG is definitely a favorite of mine as well. I just love this with highlight. And it's, I believe, around 85 US on QLG's AliExpress shop right now. So that's not a bad deal, in my opinion, for Kalinske hair. If you're wanting to try a smaller one, like a highlight brush, for instance. 
All right, and then I've got this one I've shown on my channel before, my Shosha Long that I customized with them. And this is the first batch of Kalinsky that I got from them. Really nice. And I've shown it a million times, but here it is next to the Cuyudo. And you can really see how much thicker my Shosha Long is. It was actually inspired by a Fox Takeda brush I had. And I just love the thickness. So this one's gonna be great um, with liquid cream blush, bronzer. You can even use it with foundation. But you can really see the coloring difference, texture difference. I just think it's so fun owning all these different Kalinsky brushes because they all just have so many different characteristics. Then this one, of course, is my other Shosha Long Custom powder brush. Here they are side by side. And the reason I wanted to show these two side by side is these are two different batches, which I've spoken to, um, spoken about before. So here's another example, you know, even though it's a Chinese brand, they also receive different batches because it's animal hair. <laughs> so it's understandable, but you can see the newer batch is a lot darker in color. And the newer batch might be ever so slightly silkier, but not by much. That's just me being picky. Obviously I'm running out of frame here, but I'll leave the Cuyudos out for now. Um, Let's see. Oh, and then my other Shosha Long here. This one I had originally customized before I was lucky enough to own any of the Cuyudo Kalinsky brushes. I never, this is why I'm so appreciative of Bobo because, and Toshia, I never imagined I'd be able to own any Cuyudo Kalinsky brushes. I just feel so incredibly lucky. And that's what made me customize the Shosha Long was it was inspired by the Cuyudo cheek brush. And you can really see, I don't have much room here head on, but how much thicker the Shosha Long is. Even the Feral, it's just a lot thicker. So the Cuyudo has a lot more movement than the Shosha Long, it's a lot denser. So this one's really good with creams and liquids. And I know they can all be used with creams or liquids. For me personally, especially with the old batch Cuyudo, I just can't use it with creams and liquids. I don't know. And I know, again, you can. It's strong enough for it, but I just don't have the heart to do it. <laughs> I just don't. Oh, and then the last um, Kyolang Gong brush I wanted to show. And I do not own a lot of flat tops, as you guys probably know, but this brush here is a dream Look at this. Oh my gosh. It feels like velvet. It is just so luxurious. And she actually has this one available on her shop right now, but it's just in different handle. I got mine in the six wood where it has like the little flower design at the bottom. It's so beautiful. It's got like six little petals almost it's just stunning and it has a light coffee scent and I remember talking with some food day friends about it I was like oh I don't know how I feel about like scents being in my brush handles because <laughs> I can be kind of sensitive to certain smells but it's not bad at all when you first get it you smell it a little bit but it's only when you put your nose like right up to it do you smell it so for me it's worth it doesn't deter me from loving these handles. I've actually got quite a few in these handles now. And the aesthetic, in my opinion, just goes so beautiful with the Kalinsky hair. And I think with this one, I'm going to... I know it's going to be a great buffer brush. For somebody who uses powder foundation, this is going to be a dream for you with powder foundation. I'm not a big powder foundation girl, so I'm thinking this is gonna be a great buffer brush. I could potentially use it with my Guerlain Meteorites for finishing powder, just to kind of give a final buff. And then I'm sure I could use this with liquid foundation because it's really, really, really dense. Like super dense. Here 
sure it is head on. It's got a lot of hair packed in. So this brush to me, I was super excited just because I don't own any flat top Kalinske brushes and I know how many of you guys love flat top Kalinske so I was really excited to pick this one up. And it's just so soft. Something about flat tops, it just makes them feel extra luxurious. I can see why so many of you guys love flat tops now. <laughs> I totally get it. Just beautiful. But again, I feel just so incredibly thankful for Bobo for allowing us to own these beautiful brushes that she's created. You know, it's such a rare hair type I never imagined would come back to the Fude market. And the fact that Bobo made that possible for us, forever thankful, Bobo. You are amazing. And, of course, Kyolang Gong and Shoshalong as well. Because their Kalinske hair quality, especially for the cost, is just absolutely exquisite. Just gorgeous. Oh my gosh, you have to feel it for yourself. And again, I... I wasn't too keen on ox handles when I first saw them, but once I started collecting them, they're just so stunning. They've got nice weight to them, and they're all unique in their own ways. They all have their own little designs on them, patterns on them. Just really cool. And then again, here's all these again. Oh, Kalinsky heaven. <laughs> I'm just like... I could just stare at them all day, that goldeny gold, like, goodness. And if you're a fan of Kalinsky, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, I could just sit here and pet them all day. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but I think what it is, too, the excitement really comes from not thinking I'd ever be able to own any Kalinsky brushes, and now they're just becoming more readily available, and it's really cool. Obviously, the downside is the cost. I mean, the cost of Kalinsky has skyrocketed especially with the hype behind the hair. I'm sure that definitely plays into it. But, you know, and you just have to think if it's worth it for you because if you have sensitive skin, Kalinske, of course, is not the softest hair you're going to ever own, you know, such as like white Canadian squirrel, red squirrel, Canadian squirrel, any type of squirrel. It's never going to feel like squirrel hair. It's meant to be more durable it's meant to be a workhorse, you know, so you're, you're really just paying for that, first of all, luxurious experience, but it's just a super durable bristle type. And like this old batch has so much strength to the bristles. So they're a nice, strong blender, but they just pick up. Like I love using these brushes with like my suku blushes and I know these are meant for powder they're powder brushes but for some reason when I use them with my suku melting powder blushes oh my gosh dream to use with those they're just it's just amazing it's one of those things where until you try it for yourself you just don't know I mean I remember the first time I'm trying to remember I think it was this cheek brush that was my first Quido Kalinsky. Yeah, it was. And I remember the first time trying it. I dipped it in the blush, I put it on my cheeks, and I was like, oh my god, I understand the hype now. Completely understand. You know, it took me a while to actually invest in Kalinsky. When I first got into Fude, honestly, I was more into simple hair types. And I think a lot of you start out that way. You know, you're you're more into goat and squirrel obviously more quote-unquote affordable hair types and just entry uh, so-called entry-level hair types they're not so much entry-level but in a way they are you know goat for instance is definitely entry-level in my opinion if you're someone just starting out goat is a great hair to start with because they don't require as much maintenance um, you know you can wash them more What's good about Kalinsky is you don't have to worry about, like, for instance, I would be comfortable washing my Kalinsky brushes more than I would wash my, for instance, white Canadian squirrel brushes. So they're going to be more durable. They're not as, 
um, delicate as like squirrel. In fact, they're the complete opposite. So that's what's nice. You're paying for that durability and the versatility, in my opinion. You just have to understand. You have to have a really good understanding of Kalinsky to really appreciate it. <laughs> you know, I think if people are expecting to have the softest hair ever with Kalinsky, but it's still so soft, and I'm not saying it ain't soft. I mean, when I put this on my face, I don't feel a single pokey hair. I mean, it is just beautiful. Kuyudo does an amazing job. The new batch is nearly just as soft as the old. Again, it's just the texture difference, um, but it just does not, that does not affect the performance. The performance is exactly the same. I'm thankful to have both if someone was to say, which do you prefer, the old or new batch? Honestly, for me, I love them both equally because they're different in their own ways and they both perform amazing, so... But yeah, other than that, I think that's about it. I just wanted to show you guys my current cheek face Kalinsky brush collection. I was actually showing a friend tonight these brushes and it made me want to film a video for you guys. And again, it's subject to change. Bobo is always bringing out amazing brushes that I'm sure I'll be adding. But anyway, if you guys made it this far, thank you for hanging with me and... Do you guys have any Kalinsky brushes? What are your favorites? Are you excited to see what Bobo's gonna bring out? I know I am. I feel like every day I go on Instagram, she's got more and more brushes for us and I'm like, oh my God, it never ends. But I'm so thankful. It's like, it's just such a treat owning her brushes. It really is. She's just a genius, but yeah. Anyways, um, leave some questions, comments down below. As always, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.